the effort. And then speaking of misinformation and the announcement from yesterday, for how long has the administration been spying on people's Facebook profiles looking for vaccine misinformation? Well, that was quite a loaded and inaccurate question, um, which I would refute. How? Well, Peter, first of all, as you know, we're in, we're in a regular touch with with a range of media outlets. And we as as, as let me blocks, finish. As we are Facebook, as we Facebook, are Facebook. in regular touch with social media platforms, this is publicly uh, open information. People sharing information online, just as you are all reporting information on your news stations. But, okay, so these twelve people who you have on a list, twelve individuals. Do they know that somebody at the Surgeon General's office is going through their profile? I'm happy to get you the citation of where that comes from. There's no secret list. I will tell you that these are people who are sharing information on public platforms on Facebook, information that is traveling is inaccurate. Our biggest concern here, and I frankly think it should be your biggest concern, is the number of people who are dying around the country because they're getting misinformation that is leading them to not take a vaccine. But Young people, old people, kids, children, this is all being, a lot of them are being impacted by misinformation. The big concern, though, I think, for a lot of people on Facebook is that now this is Big Brother watching you. They're more concerned about that than people dying across the country because of a, a pandemic where misinformation is traveling on social media platforms. That feels unlikely to me. If you have the data to back that up, I'm happy okay. to discuss and just it. About things that are on Facebook, I looked this morning. Uh, there are videos of Dr. Fauci from 2020 before anybody had a vaccine, and he is out there saying there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. So is the administration going to contact Facebook and ask them to take that down? Well, first, I think what Dr. Fauci has said himself, who's been quite public out there, is that science evolves, information evolves, and we make that available in a public way to the American people. Exactly. I, I, I have never seen any data to suggest that, uh, that the vaccines cause infertility. That is information that is irresponsibly but, traveling. Okay. Just one more. Just one more. Sorry. Excuse me. Just one more. Okay. About the science. About the science evolving. Facebook used to post. I used to block people from posting that COVID may have originated for a lab. That is something this president now admits is a possibility. So is there any concern that the things you are trying to block or have taken down might someday turn out to be? We don't take anything down. We don't block anything. Facebook and any private sector company makes decisions about what information should be on their platform. Our point is that there is information that is leading to people not taking the vaccine and people are dying as a result. And we have a responsibility as a public health matter to raise that issue. And the responsibility we all have, the government, media, platforms, public messengers, to give accurate information. Go ahead.